right, here's another video that where we're going to analyze the graph and see what information we can get from it. Now, when I look at this graph, let me get back to my, when I look at this graph, I automatically know that this is an odd degree function. Um, how do I know this? I know this because of the end behavior. Now, when you look, the graph is going to positive infinity, right? And over here, the graph is going to negative infinity, right? The, the f of x, right? As, as x goes to negative infinity, the function goes to negative infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, the function goes to positive infinity. So because of this, I know that the function is an odd degree function. And what about the leading coefficient? Well, I know that the leading coefficient is positive because the right side's going up. Now, something else that I can ask you for is the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts is where you cross the x-axis, and that would be this one right here, 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 and here. So if I ask you to list the x-intercepts, I would expect you to list negative 2 comma 0, negative 1.5 comma 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 0. And if I were to ask you to list all of the maximums in this curve, so where does the curve hit a maximum? Well, the curve is increasing, and then over here, it hit a maximum, so this would be the point then it comes down, decreases, comes back up, and over here it hits another maximum. Right, it's coming down, and that's not really a maximum, that's more like a flat area in the curve. So then if I were to ask you to report the maximums, let me show you what the red that I was working on. Uh, the first relative maximum would be negative 1.837, 1.617. The other one occurs at negative 0 0.615, 0 0.366. Okay. So now I'm doing this problem. You know, it's not thought out. I just typed in a function. So pretty much I'm also having to do the same work that you guys would have to do. Now let's say that I was interested in the minimums. Well, where does the curve hit a minimum? Well, it hits a minimum here. So it would be this point right here, and it hits a minimum over here as well. So where, how would you report them? Negative 1.291, negative 0.425, and the other one would be 0.803 minus 2.374. The next thing would be the intervals of increase and decrease. And this, for some reason, ends up being hard to do. But what I need you to remember is that I want you to focus on the x values. Okay? And you start off from, you know, x over here is, is negative. So x is coming from negative infinity. Okay? And from negative infinity, it's increasing. Right? And at which x value does it stop increasing? Well, that's this one. Right? So from negative, when x is negative infinity, right up until when x was negative 1.837, the function was increasing. Then the function started decreasing. Well, we don't care about the intervals of decrease right now. Then when it hit this value right here, the function started increasing. See this? It's increasing up until which x value? this one right here. So from when x is negative 1.391 all the way to negative 0.675, the function was increasing. Then it's decreasing, decreasing, and then when it hits this x value right here, it starts increasing again. Okay. So from 0.803 until when x is positive infinity, right? Because x is just getting bigger and bigger. 
function keeps on going up and up and up. So until positive infinity. And those would be your intervals of increase. Why is it color shit like crazy? I can't do this. Paint is not dark enough. Red, orange. It's not my color scheme to comp. I don't know which one to do. I can use an A for colors. A really dark color. Now when the intervals of decrease. So the function is increasing and then from this x value going down, coming down, still going down up to this x value. So focus on the purple. Negative 1.837 until negative 1.291 the function is decreasing. Then it's going up and then from this x value right here the function is going down, down, down up until here. So from negative 0 0.675 to 0.804. The function is decreasing. And what about the domain? Well, the domain for all polynomials is all the way. Right? Or you can say negative infinity to positive infinity. What about the range? Well, the range is going to be special. The range is going to depend on whether you're odd or even. I'm sorry, whether you're odd or yeah, or even, because it depends on the end behavior. And in this case, you happen to be odd, so any y value will do, so you can go from negative infinity to positive infinity. Right? If you're an even function, then you can only go as high as the maximum and as low as the mean. Alright, that would be this video right here, 7 minutes, yay!